Do you think that uh, we need uh, a policy action in this field to incentivize people uh, to be more active in public spaces? You know, more incentives. Should people get a, a coupon for discount to go shopping if they vote? No. I mean, I think that's a crass and kind of brutal way to think about incentives. But yes, uh, there's research around gamification. How can you help build into a system ways that it's more pleasurable and more um, productive for people to, say, monitor their own health. So there's interest in children with diabetes. This is a fast-raising, growing population. How can you create uh, uh, certain kind of game logics about watching your insulin levels and monitoring your health? So here are some practical examples how you uh, of applying some ideas around game logics to something that, I guess, in general, people didn't want to pay that much attention to. But in terms of the, the, the bigger question, uh, there's so many things that people do care about. And whether it's Harry Potter or football or whatever the thing is, I mean, popular culture is popular because it's popular. All these people are interested in this star or this thing or the other. And not so many of them are interested in kind of governance. Yet, we're all interested in poor services. If we go to the hospital and it's an emergency and there's a long queue, if we can't get to see a dentist in the right amount of time, if things are too expensive or totally unavailable, these are problems in our daily lives. So how can we both use the technology to design greater efficiencies in terms of the process, but also use what some of the um, patterns of uh, participation that we see with social media, because there's a huge amount of buy-in in terms of social media. And is it possible to relate that more closely to the kinds of services that people care about? what government provides, the infrastructure that government does provide. So uh, you're right that we don't see a huge popular kind of um, rolling out of this kind of uh, practice, but I think we're still learning and experimenting. And if we can take this kind of experimentation and use test populations or test cities or test groups to see, well, what, what's effective here? And how can each group kind of modulate for what they need? Because it's not just, oh, here are the scientists inventing something and now you take it. But actually, that's part of the feedback process of or the invention process. How do we make it? Mm -hmm.